it's 8 10 and I'm waking up it's 8 45 leaving the albergue about four kilometers until I get breakfast another clear morning no sign of clouds no sign of rain just the way I like it lots of oranges a little irrigation channel the moon interesting <laughs> I'm not usually up early enough to see the moon in the morning so dry Hello. is up ahead and how did the moon get over here picnic area is this something cool walk over here no nope, blocked off i can see why they built a city here nice and sheltered with the mountains and the river below if it ever runs albledui great fountain would have been even better if there's water coming out it's open Okay. And to the right, I find Santiago. A big treat to visit an open church. There's also an albergue right beside the church. This area has been occupied since le Neolithic times leading into the Bronze Age. Coffee, coffee time. Uh, hot cafe con leche. <gasps> oh, that's good stuff and my tomato toast and olive oil. One more coffee and a cookie. Uh, <laughs> late again, leaving the bar at 10.45. I always find it funny when farmers ride their tractors to the bar. <laughs> this is the back side of the church. Camino goes off to the left. Uh -huh. I don't know what happened, but I'm going the wrong way. Wow, that was a big mix up. <laughs> Back into the city. If you see these markers, don't follow them. That's why I got confused last night. Tea time. A very cool place with a lot of heritage. The flowers are so orange. There's actually oranges <laughs> mixed up with them. Talk, talk about orange. We have orange flowers and oranges. Orange, orange, orange. Mural art. Pac-Man. And a penguin. Crossing the river. <laughs> Wait, I'm not crossing the river. I'm walking in the river. This is incredible. Look at the anguish in the face. I wish I knew the artist's inspiration for it. Strolling through the valley. Many plants but I still don't see any water flow. Enjoying the shade, because I'm looking straight ahead, and I'm like, that's a big up. <laughs> and it looks very, very sunny. All right, folks. Ah, let the huff and puff begin. Trickle of a waterfall. Da, 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 da. Oh boy. Yeah, hiking poles would make my life easier here. Okay, okay. The tight switchbacks are dizzying. I thought this was the top of the climb. I get to this point on the trail and I'm like, Oh no, <laughs> so much more. I am taking off this. Oh, it's all wet. Ooh, this is a sweaty climb. I was just thinking if this was Israel, they'd have you come all the way up this dry waterfall. Thank you to the Camino Association for making this great trail. I think there's an animal over there because I'm hearing uh, rocks that it sounds like an animal's walking so I don't know if there's goats or what oh man he's on the road it is much more comfortable with my hat off and my umbrella out I've just crossed over the pass and I'm on the downhill still road but doesn't matter because it's 
downhill. I thought this could have been a trail treat and then, no, it's rotten and full of bugs. Hopping back on trail. Okay, there's no point to go down there unless you want to go into the shade. I went down there, got really confused. I went through the tunnel and up and around the other side. And then when I came over here, I saw that there was an arrow. So just continue on the road. And then you'll see this trail off to the left. What is this? Feel like Indiana Jones at this moment. We shall enter. Neato, this is a cistern. Water looks a little rough. I'm glad I don't need to filter it. This area is blocked and the signage says private property. However, pilgrims are permitted to pass through. So thank you very much to the property owners. And if I see any trash, I'm gonna pack it out. Leg one and leg two. Whew. Incredible scenery today. I think that's where I'm heading. Uh, GPS says it's five kilometers away, but it looks a lot further, especially since I got to swing around this whole side here. 50 kilometers. Entering a grove of orange trees. Bamboo. Small park area would be an okay place for a picnic track is wet and muddy. Finally in this town at three o'clock. Oi, 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 I need a rest. This is happening January 16th. Missing it by three days. Looks like a lot of fun. Down to bar. Holy moly, this is a great looking beer. Shout out to Richard. Richard! Yeah, thanks for this beer. My feet up because I have my calves resting on a little stoop. This is what I call a proper pilgrim meal. Holy moly macaroni. The aftermath. That was one of the most tastiest meals I've ever had on the Camino. These guys playing cards are so fired up. No, they're playing dominoes. Sorry. I don't think I'm going to make my goal for the day, but that's okay because it was really worth it to come here. It's very friendly and the plate of food was absolutely delicious. Hello! Someone really does not want dogs peeing on their stoop. I was chatting with the old lady. Stretching it out. Wow! It's a Camino party. Bicyclists and walkers. Going this way. I had a good time in that town. Cool rocks. Walking along the valley on a dusty track. The section is kind of dull stuff compared to all the spectacular views I had this morning. But uh, I'm tired. It's the end of the day, so I don't mind some easy walking. Inside Dona Maria, there's the town hall for three villages. And I haven't seen quite a few of these no violence machista signs. So it must be a big initiative. I don't know if it's just in this area, province of Andalusia or all of Spain. The train, the train. It's getting late. All right, <laughs> one quick one. I feel really naked without my crown. When I come into a bar, that's the first thing I usually want to stick on my head, but I didn't bring it with me from Canada. It was starting to get a little wrecked up and I was afraid it wasn't going to survive the journey. Anyhow, I'm in the bar and this is an Alhambra Especial beer. And I'm going to be going to the Alhambra later on in this Camino. I still have to figure out how to buy tickets because I think you have to get them in advance. Anyhow, back to the beer. This is a shout out to Victoria. Victoria, cheers. The guys at the bar said it was faster if I walked on the road. but. I'm going to take the Camino, even though it is getting a little dark, it's about 15 minutes walk to the next town. Ooh, it, it is chilly, chilly, chilly. I'm following an aqueduct line and it looks darker on camera than it really is. It's a straight shot to the town. I'll be there in a moment. I was told the bar was closed, but the bar is open. The bar was actually closed, but I tried. Got it going on for the albergue. 
not gonna get lost today. Here we are at the albergue. The albergue system here is kind of neat. You open up this little thing here and put in the secret code. One moment. I put in the code, open it up, and now I have the key. As soon as you open the door, you have the registration desk. And there's a room there with a laundry tub and uh, one of those drying racks if you want to wash your own clothes. Uh, in the next space here, there's a fridge and a microwave. Fridge is unplugged. Makes sense because there's hardly anyone walking this time of year. Why waste the electricity? Uh, one toilet and one shower. Uh, even though the, the heating is off in the building, electricity is on and the hot water is on so I can take a shower. This albergue is the old schoolhouse. So it's a big, huge room and there's a variety of different beds. I'm going to take this bed because why would I want a bed on top? And uh, I'm glad I have my really warm sleeping bag because there's no heat and then it's gonna be a cold night in here. It, well, there, there are blankets, but I prefer to use my sleeping bag over these blankets because I don't know when the last time they were washed. 